Greetings and welcome once again to the Gaming Codex, a show where I try to explain to you all the various words and terms used to describe video games and the video games industry. And today's term is that of, well, two of them actually, DLSS and MLSS. And what would these be? Well, according to a definition, DLSS and MLSS are implementations of a method of super sampling that is enhancing an image to a higher resolution than the original by using deep learning or machine learning, which is the same thing. It requires the training of a simple AI system to recognize how an image should look at a high resolution and then implements that data set to allow the system to upscale the individual frames of a game as they are being rendered using dedicated hardware, leading to an increase in apparent resolution without the impact normally associated with running the game at that resolution. Currently, there is no game that supports either DLSS or MLSS. These features are, however, planned for the future. DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling, is what NVIDIA came up with with its new RTX Turing architecture, where the video cards have dedicated cores within them, the tensor cores that will handle machine learning algorithms, that will handle deep learning. Without that component, this method of super sampling an image would not really be possible, or if it would be, it would probably not run real-time as well as it would without the dedicated hardware. The idea is that maybe you don't have the proper hardware to render a frame, well, render every frame of a game at 4K, for example. But you can probably output a 2K image with no sweat. And by 2K, I mean 2560 by 1440. 1440p, if you will. Well, deep learning can take that. And if it was a game that NVIDIA trained the system on, it knows how the image in general should look at a higher resolution. And it will upscale the image, but not in a way that will make it lose detail. It's not simply just taking a 2K image and stretching it out to 4K. Well, technically, yeah, it does that, but then because it knows how it should have looked at 4K, it starts filling in the details. And it does this from the demonstration shown sufficiently well, so that it will not be really easily distinguishable from an actual 4K image, especially if that 4K image had a type of anti-aliasing applied to it. For example, most of the comparisons shown so far have been with 4K and Temporal AA 4X applied to it. Temporal AA is dog's balls by comparison to any other type of AA, but it is fast. But again, it looks absolutely horrible in motion. Everything with it looks absolutely terrible in motion. DLSS, however, doesn't have that disadvantage. Because when it upscales to 4K, it doesn't upscale the jaggedness. It reduces it. It knows that the image should be straight, should be fine. Now again, this does require the game to be ran through a machine learning algorithm which is something that NVIDIA does manually for each and every game that they support. Currently, that is zero. Now, machine learning super sampling is the method by which you can achieve the same result through a default component of DirectX 12. Currently, it does not exist. It, it's in testing. You can probably see pictures of it being used on Forza Horizon by Microsoft, but it does not yet exist. It will exist next year with the um, spring update for Windows 10. Until then, we don't know if it will actually work properly as well as DLSS, but they have stated it will require proper hardware support, meaning that it will run on NVIDIA cards since they have the tensor cores and not much else at this point. Now, what is the popular definition? Well, that is what? Because one of these technologies does not yet exist and the other one has no supported games for it, it's not really hit the mainstream yet. These are not functions that people are necessarily aware of unless they have spent a whole lot of money on an RTX card and are now wondering, <laughs> how did this... This, uh, this thing costs as much as a 1080 and uh, it performs the same as a 1080 and uh, I literally have nothing to show for it. What, what gives? Why, 
Why am I being punished? Those people sort of understand that you're supposed to be a DLSS somewhere. They're supposed to be ray tracing as well and there isn't. But everybody else doesn't and we still haven't seen like a proper in-game impartial image of DLSS. I know there is the Final Fantasy 15 benchmark thing. The thing is that is a canned benchmark. For the most part, I mean, it does have some stuff that's a bit maybe more random, but it'll always behave mostly the same and that makes it an ideal candidate for DLSS training. Very few things will change in it and AI can easily learn how an image should look at 4K and then just copy that. We're not entirely sure at this point how well it will behave in actual gameplay. At 60 frames a second, when things are blowing up each and every way, when characters are moving around and unpredictable ways when things are not behaving in an easily predictable manner. But if the system was trained well enough, then it should be able to handle this. That does however pose a problem, who's gonna do the training and where is it going to be stored once MLSS comes online? Will the developers have to do it manually? Probably yes. Will they have to store it in the game files? Probably yes as well. So it falls onto them to do the work. Will they actually do the work? Probably not. Not. We've been kind of wishing them to do the work in switching to Vulcan for many many years and very few of them have actually done it. Or at least with DirectX 12. Most of them still using DirectX 11. And now comes the marketing definition and that is, do we really need native 4K? Can't we just fake it like on consoles? And the answer is, well, if you can fake it well enough, I don't think you need native 4K. Native 4K would be nice, don't get me wrong, but as the uh, details put into a game increase with each year, it becomes a bit of an arms race between the hardware manufacturers, the people that make the graphics and the people that optimize the graphics, and so far nobody seems to be winning, it's a stalemate. It is easier to run older games in 4K, oh absolutely, but as a new game comes along, it's going to be so filled with details that running it in 4k is not going to be easy even on the brand spanking new modern hardware that you just got and that's never not going to be true unless we have another gigantic leap in processing power like we did from the 900 series to the 1000 series from nvidia which was in part due to the drop to 14 nanometer unless we get another major drop like that one running every game at 4k 60 natively will be a problem well technically there was a drop coming with the 7 nanometer reduction so we, we may get there unless there also comes a big jump in uh, game detail and another stagnation in the optimization and not using Vulcan or DirectX 12. What I'm saying is that it's easier to fake it. It's cheaper to fake it at a computational cost level. Consoles have been doing this for years with their checkerboard upscale rendering which just sort of fakes 4K and in a way that is not as elegant as the LSS or MLSS. It is quite noticeable if you get close up that they are faking 4K. You will see a lot of lost detail. But on MLSS and the LSS, that detail isn't as noticeable really. It's hard to distinguish them. It looks a hell of a lot better than normal upscaling, that is for sure. And it does it as long as you have the tensor cores or whatever else there may be, it does it without the performance impact of 4K. You're basically rendering at a much lower resolution half of it and still getting a 4K image. And half of 4K, 2K, that is something that most video cards can do now excellently. My 480, it can do 2K. Well, not maybe not in every game, but it can do it in most games and okay enough. A Vega 56, that's made for 2K. A 1070 Ti from Nvidia, that'll blow 2K out of the water. It'll almost jump to 4K a bit. So it is quite feasible to use something like DLSS and MLSS to upscale a 2K image to 4K and not sweat the details as long as the AI, the the deep learning aspect of the machine learning, the system was made properly and it knows what the game should look like. But then again, that means that somebody has to spend time, resources and money to teach that system what the game should look like. And in some cases, the cheaper alternative would be just to not implement it at all. Then again, Nvidia has deep pockets and may convince people to use it and maybe it'll get some traction. But unless they can do it on consoles, there will be no um, spread of this concept. Now the consoles, they will still have AMD Radeon GPUs 
And those things can do machine learning without tensor cores, without dedicated hardware, because they have insane parallelization. In the sense that they can do more stuff simultaneously than NVIDIA ones can, but maybe not as fast. Still, more stuff at the same time, that means it can sneak in upscaling, deep learning and stuff there. But we won't know for sure until next year when MLSS is actually implemented. Until then, we just need some patience and hope that DLSS at least will be available to some games. Anytime. Really, it's been a month already. Where's the support for it? So closes another edition of the Gaming Codex. Come back next time when we will talk about a brand new subject. Goodbye.